letter carrier alerted an ECU student to a fire on the side of their home in Greenville. It's a developing story we brought you at noon. Three students live in the home along with their dog and cat. But only one student was there when the fire started. Our Maya Cruz talked to the letter carrier who knocked on the door today. Maya, is anyone there now? There is no one in the home, and as you can tell, the scene has cleared up since this morning, and all three ECU students have been relocated to another home, seeing as this is still an active investigation. You could probably see some of the damage on the side of the home behind me, and officials say the cause of this fire has yet to be determined. So right now the fire had extended into the building, and, or the, or the home, and we're still doing an investigation to kind of determine what started that fire. At 1013 this morning, fire officials were dispatched to 302 Maple Street in Greenville. According to Fire Chief Melvin Taylor, a fire began outside of the home to three ECU students. The residents are in great shape. Uh, they were they're all evacuated safely. According to the people who live there, the fire damaged the laundry room in the back of the home. They say officials tell them it could be months until they're allowed back into the house. Two ladies were in class at the time of the fire, while the other was asleep in the home alongside two animals when she heard a knock at the door. The early morning fire caught the attention of Eddie Anderson, a local mail carrier for the U.S. Postal Service. At first when I noticed the fire it was small, then it spread it to the structure. That's when it got bigger and bigger. I said, oh man, hopefully no one's in there. Anderson says he was on his first route when he noticed smoke on the side of the house. That's when he quickly jumped to action, alerting those inside and called 911. He says after 25 years in the Postal Service, he's never seen anything like it. No, ma'am, it never happened. Just caught me off guard, but that's what, that's what I do. You know, I like to help people out. I'm glad everyone was all right and safe. Officials say things could have been worse if it wasn't for the Good Samaritan. And as for the three ECU students, they are and they have been relocated to another house. They are safe and will continue through the semester. Live in Greenville, I'm Maya Cruz, News 12.